Whack it guys, this is Joe here and today we are doing a brand new server tutorial and the server tutorial in question is actually how to make a bucket slash spigot server all the way from the start slash basics so I'm going to be giving you all the right links to download this all from safe websites because some people you know have just been uploading it to Mediafire and everything like that but I'm doing it all legitimate and I'm going to show you from the start so before we start make sure you subscribe and like and go and check out the channel we do a lot of this stuff on the LBE gaming and as well I do have a public Skype account please go down below and you know add me if you are having trouble with you know actually doing this I can help you much better on Skype instead of over comments so yeah so always please just you know add me then just leave a comment saying I've added you on Skype may you help me and please be patient as well I do have a lot of people on that Skype account so yeah please just don't spam me away because it's just gonna be you know you're just not gonna get any help sadly but anyway let's get started so the first thing you need to do is go down down below and go to the free links what are there so first thing you need to get is get download it's just a general install and that's the same thing with Java as well. You need to download Java. Now this is where it starts getting a bit complicated with Java. There could be updates. There's a Java always brings out updates. So this is the most current update for the seventh of the seventh of this month. And uh, we're going to be downloading we're going to be downloading Windows 64. So this is the 64 bit, and Windows X 86 is the 32 bit. Nice and simple, all you need to do is download, install, just like any other program, nice and simple. So now you want to come over to the uh, spigot or the build tool link, and you want to download the latest one on this list. It, sometimes they can be buggy because these are development builds coming straight out. So if, it, if you do have a few bugs and some of your plugins aren't working, just go down a build or two. Nice and simple. So we want to just download this one, we're going to download uh, 38. And this was released on the 28th of May so we want to click download so once that is downloaded nice and simple you want to put it into a folder so that is nice and simple and now you've got this folder you need to actually run this jar file to actually extract the proper jars out of it so you need to come down to new and make a new text document and I'm gonna call it run you can call it anything you want and now you need to edit with notepad plus plus or notepad I'm just gonna edit with notepad nice and easy now this is where it gets a bit more complicated you want to put this code in here now this is for 64 bit operating systems as only at the moment I will put a six, uh, 32 bit but you might have to change your code and this is where I'm going to show you if there's ever an update on Java you need to update this code so as you can see here, I'll just explain it quickly. Java equals or Java underscore home equals where it's actually located. Then this bit Java dash jar then build tool dot jar is actually running it. So we need to we're going to quickly search this up. Now we're going to just open a new folder or a new go to our computer and just search it. And as you can see, it brings us to this and it goes to our Java folder. So let's say there is a new update, so there's, you know, um, JDK, you know, uh, Java 8 underscore 50. So you, all you need to do is click on it. Don't click on anything else, just copy the link at the top. Copy, click X on that, then bring your folder back up, and all you need to do is just replace it here. So that's actually how you update your Java in this run folder, nice and simple. So once you've done that, you need to come over here, save as all folders and do dot dot sh. So instead of dot bat, it's just dot sh. This is what gets uh, recognizes as a run folder. So we're going to save it, and as you can see, it creates a brand new one. So just get rid of the normal text document with no where you can't actually click on it. So now it should look like uh, some little cogs in a little folder. And all you need to do is double click it and as you can see it is going to start uh, loading it up and this is where it's retrieving all the resources off the main server and to show you if you've actually got this right you actually see the get, uh, get logo here instead of the normal CMD like that 
So this might take a little while to build, but uh, I'll be back once it is done. Right then guys, we are back and it has finished building the build tool. And now you can see we have got spigot-1.8.7 and as well we got craft bucket-1.8.7. Now I'd recommend to just go with spigot straight away. But if you do want to use Craft Bucket, please go ahead. They're both updated and plugins will work on them. So if you ever download uh, plugins from uh, Bucket, they'll work on Spigot. If you ever download plugins from Spigot and you put them onto a Bucket server, they'll work. The APIs are the same on each server, so there's nothing to be worried about. They're updated by the same people now. So we're just going to copy the Spigot one, click X on that, and go to our new folder. Paste it in. So the first thing I recommend doing if you've got numbers on the back of this is just get rid of them all the way up to the dash so it just says spigot. Now we want to go to new and make a new text document and we're just going to call it run. Click on it or edit with notepad plus plus or just notepad. And now you're going to be putting a new code in. Nice and simple one so it's Java then this is giving it how much RAM you want to run it on then it's going to run this jar file again here so now caution if you do want to add more ram you can but it depends on if you've got the right java so if you've got java 30, 32 bit it's going to limit you to one gig and that is one gig there but if you have java 64 bits you can add more ram but it depends on the you know if it's a really really old java or a really new java Java's really fussy on this sadly and I wish they made it a bit more simpler but it's about your limitations of your PC. So that is done there. So now we want to go down to uh, files, save all or save as and we want to go all fold all fold all files, sorry. Dot that nice and simple. Save and now you want to click X and delete that old folder. Or text document. And now you have this, so we're going to run it, and we're going to see what happens. Now it should stop straight away, as it did there, and as you can see it's only made a few folders. But there's a new text document in here called Eula. We want to click on that, and we're going to edit with note, just normal notepad. Now this is when, this is the Eula of Minecraft, so I do recommend just go and see it. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to turn this to true nice and simple just go save click X and run the server again so we'll wait for it to load up and as you can see it's starting to build everything so now you can you got your plugins folder you got your two you got your free worlds world never and end and as you can see here it's loading everything up and it's uh, preparating spawn and as you can see it is finished so we can do question mark for all the built-in commands and everything like that. And as you can see here, there are no plugins installed. Nice and simple, but you know, we can do slash lag. Oh no, sorry, that is the essentials command, so ignore that. So this is the your plain bucket slash spigot server now. So we can go into Minecraft, click on it, click on multiplayer, and I've already got it added. I've just got a home server here. But let's so the home server you can uh, connect by your local host IP so as it says local host so that is the IP you want to put in so I'm doing direct connect here you can add it as a server and for the IP you just put a uh, local host I'm going to join it now I will get some uh, bit of lag here because I'm screen sharing it's not uh, actually recording the game now the first thing you want to do in here is do OP and your name or your minecraft name so you can get yourself into the game mode once and no one can kill you and this is your first bucket slash spigot server you have made so i hope this has helped if you have any questions please add me on skype make sure you subscribe like share favorite this video go and follow me on twitter and i will see you next time goodbye